classification of matter. Let's try to group the objects shown here. To do so, let's find some similarity. We can group the objects based on their shape. We can also group the object based on their colors. Similarly, in your school library, you would have observed that the books are arranged in sections like mathematics, English, physics, chemistry, magazines, general knowledge and so on. Suppose you want to borrow a book on quiz. You just have to look in the section marked general knowledge. Now, doesn't that make your work simpler? You saved your time and effort, didn't you? This kind of meaningful grouping is called classification. Classification makes our work easier, simpler and systematic. In the example, we saw that the objects were classified based on some similarities and dissimilarities. We know that matter is anything that occupies space and has weight. In fact, anything that you see around you is a form of matter. These forms of matter can be broadly classified into living and non-living things. The living and non-living things can further be classified. Let's see how. The living things may be classified into plants and animals. The non-living things may be classified as homogeneous substances or heterogeneous substances. Homogeneous substances can be divided into elements and compounds. Elements may further be divided into metals, non-metals and metalloids. Heterogeneous substances are also known as mixtures. A brief outline of classification of matter is given here.